What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to TPA Ave Geek, and today we're going to be doing another Flint Bishop International Airport update for you guys. I really hope you guys are excited for today's video. If you guys are, please consider liking the video, subscribing to the channel, turning on post notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a brand new content. With that, ladies and gentlemen, I do want to welcome you to another Flint model airport. Um, as some of you might know, we are currently under construction. Most of it is done, like the terminal area, gate markings, all of that is super realistic now. It's exactly just like it is in real life. Um, I'm just not quite done with it yet. I'm just waiting um, to finish it soon. I'm done with the terminal area and the gates. All that is done. Um, currently in, in the very last pieces of progress for the runway. For the runway, I'm only mis missing uh, some grass spots and then a few other little minor details that we're missing. And we should be good for the whole Flint model airport. As some of you might be wondering, then why did you decide to do a model airport during its construction? Well, I wanted to kind of do a video showing you guys how the construction is going now versus how it was before. Although here in the picture, here in the screen, I'm going to show you a picture of how the airport looked before construction or how it looked when I started construction somewhere around that just you cut some of you might understand what i mean just gonna show a picture of that and then through the update you're gonna see uh, what it's actually looking like now so now we have all the gates represented and we're not e we're not even missing one gate uh, details are super realistic everything is as realistic as they can possibly get not like gemini jet style but like realistically uh speaking uh it's as realistic as it could get to the point of the real model airport of the real airport so i'm really excited to showcase this off to you guys and i do want to let you know lighting might be off because today i decided to record this video during very late sunsets like about to be dark i decided to do this because that's the time frame i want to represent for flint for today's model airport as i wanted to make this kind of a afternoonish uh sunset uh type of thing as we have an aircraft here that does belong to this time frame, and that's why I mainly decided to do it so I can include it in today's model airport. With that, ladies and gentlemen, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload brand new content. And with that, let's go right into this terrific, terrific, and amazing model airport update of Flint Bishop International Airport for you guys. Alrighty, and starting off here with some taxiing aircraft, we have an American Eagle uh, Bombardier CRJ-900 uh, coming in from Charlotte Douglas International Airport, and he is uh, just going to stay here overnight. He is going to be returning back out to Charlotte Douglas tomorrow morning at 6.30 a.m. Um, this flight does come in uh, late night uh, at about, about this time evening kind of sunset time and doesn't leave till the next day 6 30 a.m and next up we have this usaf's c-130 coming in from selfridge air national guard base here near michigan or near near flint michigan closer a little bit it's much closer to detroit um a little bit east of detroit but this is uh, actually coming in from there so we're talking about a 20 something 30 minute flight no longer the 35 minute flights uh from there over here he's just gonna come here he's taxiing if you guys don't know i'll put a picture on the screen for reference uh right up, uh below uh the american gates you would come down a little bit forward and there's kind of like a little area there uh with a bunch of like parking spots he's gonna be sitting there um just gonna be sitting there for a few days or uh, and well not a few days but he will be staying here in flint airport for a few days but tomorrow he'll take off and do a little bit of flight arounds for about he's scheduled to fly for about four or five hours uh go over canada things like that for some reason i don't know why it's kind of rare that a uh, usaf aircraft will be going over canada but you know those are the plans for the c-130 so it's gonna be coming in from the uh national guard base Next up, we have the United Express Bombardier CRJ200 in the Evo Blue livery. This is SkyWest model. I am aware that Air Wisconsin has no uh, Evo Blue aircraft. Hopefully, they paint some of them soon. But this aircraft is going to be operating for Air Wisconsin for the last flight out of the day out to Chicago O'Hare. So, this would be the last departing flight 
other than the Allegiant flight that's going to be departing later. Um, this is going to be the last departing flight out of Chicago today um, for any other airline, like I mentioned, besides Allegiant. Allegiant will be leaving about 25 minutes later than this one. So we're talking about about 8.30 p.m. would be the last departure. Mm. Right now it's 6.30, so this aircraft will be heading... Oh, not 6.30. I do apologize about that. It's currently 8.05, so he's going to be departing at 8.30, the Allegiant. So that's pretty cool. And this United Express Bombardier CJ200, like previously mentioned, is going to be heading out to Chicago here on its last flight uh, for today. Next up, we have the American Eagle E145 or Eater J145 parked at the well represented gate 11. This aircraft is getting deloaded after its flight in from Chicago that landed about 42 minutes ago. Uh, so they're kind of just finishing up the cleanup and everything. They're even cleaning the aircraft now. Uh, then the, air, the, the gate is going to push back and the aircraft is going to close its doors. Service uh, vehicles will go uh and get stored where they're supposed to go and the aircraft is going to remain sitting sitting here until uh tomorrow morning well where he will be departing right back out to chicago so glad that gemini jets has released the e145 in the new livery uh super excited to uh implement that into my flint model airport when that does come in gonna be a super super cool replacement as this erj 145 breast cancer awareness is definitely not doing dividends as this is a very very outdated livery uh yes i will keep it in my collection of course i will not be selling it it will be still in my collection uh it is a pretty dang uh rare model so that's why he's gonna be left in my collection plus it has a pretty special um place in my heart as it was a gift from jc wings as well as it was um you know it was a cool it was my first american e145 one of my first models as well so pretty cool to have that in my collection and definitely will be staying in my collection for years to come. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, we can see that winter is here. As many of you might remember, winter of 2020, we had this aircraft here at Flint. We have the United Express E-175 in the Evo Blue livery operated by SkyWest Airlines, making its debut into Flint once again. It's been over a year since we started the Flint update, so pretty cool. He's back now. Uh, this is the one-year inaugural that United makes it here. I mean, we're about closer to the two-year mark on the Flint model airports, but it's the second year that United makes an appearance, E-175, during winter. So pretty cool to have this night flight on the E-175 um, in from Chicago. Of course, that's one of the main reasons why I decided to make this airport update an evening slash night airport update as that's when this aircraft comes in. And I really wanted to represent the aircraft and as well, this aircraft heads out tomorrow morning out to Chicago. So he's coming in from Chicago O'Hare today, pulling into the gate uh, where the United Express CRJ 200 pulled out of. So pretty cool to have the United Express ERJ 175 in the Evo Blue livery has definitely served its purpose here in my collection for a very long time and hope it will for many years to come. I am hunting down a second, uh, possibly a third one as well, to have in my collection as these aircraft will be doing dividends in the future of my YouTube channel. Alrighty, and the last aircraft for today's model airport is the Allegiant Airbus A319. Uh, of course, this aircraft, hopefully, I find a replacement for it soon. Hint, hint, massive unboxing. Uh, that is coming for Christmas. So December 25th, massive unboxing. We'll definitely include the replacement for this model. We did buy a replacement, just letting you know that. I got it for like 65 bucks. Pretty cool. So glad I'm going to have that replacement here soon. Not going to give too, too much information. Just gave you some information. So for those of you who caught on to it, pretty cool. Now you know that we have that model coming. So it will be coming into a massive unboxing for Christmas. So stay tuned for that one because that one has many, many amazing models. Uh, including the replacement for this one. So this Airbus A319 is probably going to be second to last time that it's going to be on a Flint airport update, if not the last time for a very, very long time that we'll have this aircraft here. Maybe it will get implemented when the new replacement comes in as well. Maybe I'll have both of the Allegiant aircraft in the model airport. Not sure. Just have to kind of see what I can do there. Um, but yeah, this Allegiant Airbus A319, it's making its inaugural flight in from Phoenix, Mesa Gateway model uh, or airport. So excited to have Allegiant coming into Flint from 
Phoenix, Arizona. That is super, 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 super cool to have a legion here in from Phoenix. Finally, a very nice connection to be made between the West uh, Coast and the uh, further East uh, Coast. Uh, so that is pretty cool. I remember last time we had that connection here in Flint was when Southwest Airlines uh, flew its flight between Flint and Las Vegas. That has now, it's now been over um three years and a half since that happened uh since south since southwest departed the airport uh and allegiant took over because initially it was southwest the one who had pretty main hubs here uh hints on why allegiant the gates uh gates eight and i believe gate nine b gates a and nine b both are southwest gates uh most of you might know the southwest gates i'll put a picture on the screen but on all airports, Southwest operates out of is something I've noticed. I'm not sure if that's, am I correct or not? Just let me know in the comments below. But uh, on every airport that I've seen um, and been to, wherever Southwest operates out of, there's a particular gate, uh, you know, that looks very different from any other gates. So definitely we'll put a picture of that. Gates 8 and 9B have that uh, same exact uh, colors. Allegiant flies out of the, both of those, or only eight, I believe. They only fly out of uh, gate eight, yeah. So flying out of gate eight, so they're operating out of previous southwest gates. Um, southwest did operate flights between, once again, Flint and Las Vegas. But unfortunately, that time has come to an end. And Allegiant, uh, three and a half years later, has decided to bring uh, service and connection back from uh, further east coast to the... Um, west coast so thank you so much allegiant for doing this connection once again three and a half years later did take a, a, you a little bit to realize that we needed that service here but uh, at least you had it it's better than never and with that thank you guys so much for watching this airport update i want to thank you guys once again so much for watching this model airport update i really hope you guys did enjoy if you guys did please leave it in the comments below as well as let me know what was your favorite part about this Flint Model Airport? What was your favorite thing about it? Please do let me let me know in the comments below. As well as don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the post notification bells. If you guys wouldn't, you guys trust me, you guys wouldn't want to miss any further airport updates coming soon. With that, I don't want to keep you guys uh, holding so much more as this video was long enough. With that, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. TPA Ape Geek is signing out.